all right hi this is Shoshana so I feel like I had to make this video I'm off today I'm heading to study herbalism and plants and medicinal plants and herbs and before I get my day started this is just so heavy on my mind and I feel like I have to speak on it you see I'm a Christian Christian Christianity has pretty much upset at God it's it, it's it's disappointing our God. You see, it's like this. I'm gonna give you an example. Everybody looks up to Marines. They think they're the top rank and they respect them. But if a Marine go and I don't know, go kill it, go kill an innocent person, even though they're in you know the military and they're in the, the Marines and things like that, that person looks dishonorable to you know the military and to everybody who looked up to them well look christians who believe that jesus is the son of god you know accepts jesus as our lord and savior and knows that there is a god and have faith in god we christians are out here getting corrupt by everybody around us christians have now decided that it's okay for me to be a Christian and still promote demonic things. Christians, I, I'll sit here and tell you, those people who are agnostic or they don't believe in God or they say, well, um, for example, they say, well, Christians aren't so perfect themselves. Like the people who don't really want to pass Christianity views onto their children, you know, because of what they're seeing or like that may not be the way. You gotta understand, Christians are still humans. They are going to get dismayed. They're going to get corrupt. They're going to get um, influenced by music, by celebrities, by what they see. And they're still supposed to honor God. However, you got Christians who are <laughs> celebrating Halloween, who are gay, who are killers who are sinners who are thieves all types of things like that right but here's the thing you know I'm not a parent but when I do become a parent if God let me do it in my time here the best thing that I can do for my child is to let them know that whether I'm here or not with you no matter what happens whether your father's here or not God is there for you your Heavenly Father will be here. And so many people are now not teaching their kids about heaven and God. They're not even teaching their kids about hell. They're saying, you can be gay. You can follow trends. If that's how you feel, you feel like you're the opposite sex. You can be that way. But then, you know, they tell them you have free will, whatever. But then they also don't tell them the consequences to that. So, you know, whether your parents could afford to buy you the things you want or even need it, at the end of the day, the best thing they could have did is tell you God is real. And so many parents I know out here aren't even telling their kids about this. One day your kid, you know, they might grow up the way you are, not believing in God or even disowning that, disowning God. And then they're going to sit here one day and when they do find God, they're going to say, why didn't you teach me about God? Why did you, why did you hide that from me? That's the biggest hurt that you could do. It's not tell your kid that someone's going to take care of them when you're not here and provide for them when you, parents can't do everything. They can't. We can't do everything. And it's like, I'm so grateful that even when my father had been locked up most of my life, my mom struggling to take care of me and my brothers alone, no husband, all kind of things like that, you know? You sit here and you're upset at the parents and stuff, but I went towards men on this earth and bad things to look for ways to have things that I needed and wanted. And I should have just been praying. I mean, my parents did teach me. I knew better. And there's an age where kids are going to start being judged and it's not, it's no longer going to be, you know, because there's a certain age if they die, they go to heaven. But once they get old enough to know better and they still disown God and do the wrong things, they're judged for those sins. But, you know, we are all sinners and we can be forgiven. And all we have to do is repent and not do it again. And, you know, we'll be forgiven from 
God. That's why Jesus Christ died for us. But you see, <clears throat> I see people I really care about and I'm it's not my place because you know how people get when you, you speak about how they teach your kids and how they how they raise their kids. But it's really sad that you're not out here teaching your kids about the God the love of God, you know, and his mercy and everything and forgiveness and it's it's really saddening because it's people I care about you know but um all this was just to say that you know my parents might didn't show up to my band performances you know I didn't get the phone I wanted I didn't have my own room or everything that I wanted you know I also, my dad couldn't come to my graduation, but you know what my father did? My father prays for me. My father told me that there's God in heaven who's there for me. And because of him telling me that, you know, God's the one who's been taking care of me since I moved out. Not man, not anybody else, but God. And I look to him and, you know, you should do the same. You should definitely tell your kids about him and his love. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.